It was 99 cents originally, but I think it's worth much more in this crazy, crazy time we find ourselves in. That's some shelter in place medicine right there. Ooh, this is good. This is uh, the wife's box. She passed away eight years before he did. Ooh, 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 guys. This is good. This is good. What's this? Well, let's see what's in here. Wait a sec. This is 14K white gold right here, you guys. Sterling. Yup, yup. That one's sterling. All right, what's up, Locker Nuts? Okay, another day stuck in the house. It's okay. I've got tons of stuff to unbox right here. And quite frankly, this is where I like to spend most of my time anyways. Actually, right here in the garage. Uh, last night, we had another live auction. It was off the hook. Sold tons of stuff. It's all in the other room. I got to get the shipping. But first, I got to get a video out because I know uh, you guys or a lot of you guys are also bored at home and looking for something to watch maybe fixing for a little unboxing action because uh it's starting to dry up isn't it um i know a lot of uh, my other fellow youtubers that do storage auctions are starting to run out of stuff to talk about they're getting actually very very creative i'm loving some stuff especially from like treasure hunting with jeebus some great stuff they're coming up with uh trying to find ways to uh you know find content for videos and it's it's actually hilarious um, I'm really enjoying it. So, uh, but anyways, for me, we got some stuff to unbox still. So let's get to it. And, hey, if you're new to the channel, here's what we do. We buy storage lockers at the auction, just like on TV, Storage Wars. I'm sure you guys have seen it. That's what we do for realsies. <laughs> That's my job. So I luckily have been buying a lot lately and I've got two units, pretty much stuff full of stuff. Most of it I haven't gone through. I brought a bunch home. It's right here. Well, actually, it's over there too. But we're going to work on this today. And this is coming from the No Show Locker. So yesterday we wrapped up the Plumber Collector. <laughs> Not a great ending. The last three uh, things that we went through really didn't produce any treasures. But these ones I'm really excited. This right here says Raider stuff. And this one right here belongs to the wife or belonged to the wife. She passed away some time ago. Um, and it's heavy. So I've been looking forward. I put those two boxes there so we can get started on it this morning. Uh, I haven't peeked in them. So you and I are going to see it first together. Let's get to it. Yeah, this one's pretty heavy. Which is good. Heavy is good. All right, if you see, I'm all prepared. I got a garbage can here. I've got a box over there that's either going to empty box. It's either going to the donation center or the flea market, whichever I get to first. It's not great stuff in there. Uh, just lower end stuff. All right, so Raiders. Raiders, are you guys seeing this good? All right. Okay, we got a Raiders, like a wall. What do you call this? Huge house. Just a print. The Raiderettes, the cheerleader team. Okay. Raiders, that's cool. Oh, NFL hologram right there. It's good. Danger ahead. Stop. It's Raiders country. Okay. A couple of newspapers. That's random. Yeah. Paul McCartney. What's this? Okay. Ringo. It's a poster. It's a poster. Okay, so what is this for? This maybe came out of one of the record albums, maybe? Huh, all right. And you guys know what this might have been from originally, let me know. Or maybe this is a clue right here. Okay, so that's not Raiders though, is it? All right, here we got a Raiders calendar. Personalized to Ramon, Merry Christmas. Okay, I don't think there's a market for that. Uh, old calendars. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Check this out. Back in the USSR. So this is uh, from inside. This is an insert from inside one of the Beatles albums. Um, okay, so that's kind of interesting. Those sometimes are worth money because those are the first things to get lost. Oh, here's a little. <laughs> Maybe I keep this. I don't know. It's a flag to put in your window on your car. You roll your window up. And uh, yeah, that's funny. Yeah, maybe I don't, but 
Oh, okay. Hangs like that. That's interesting. This is funny. So here, if you guys haven't seen the other videos, we bought this locker. We call it the no-show locker because no one showed up at the auction. It was just me and Jana. And we scored this huge 10 by 20 for 50 bucks. It's been a great locker. The guy collected some really cool stuff. He took great care of his stuff. And this is just an example right here. Uh, because you see, it's it's a domino set. It's Raiders dominoes. We can tell. Um, yeah, there we go. See that? Raiders dominoes. But he took the time to wrap paper around it and then tape. He didn't put the tape on here. He put the paper on it first. And of course, he took all that care so that this doesn't open and the dominoes spill out inside the box what is this oh look at this incense holder right you put the little incense right there the stick and as it burns it drops the ashes as it burns down uh but that's oakland raiders a cow or a ball <laughs> i don't know something handmade it's probably one of a kind okay uh, raiders football it's kind of like a pillow but Oh, all right, guys. This brought on new value, didn't it? Right here. Look at this. The Thinking Man's Crossword Toilet Tissue. <laughs> it was 99 cents originally, but I think it's worth much more in this crazy, crazy time we find ourselves in. Uh, yeah, look at that. You do crossword puzzles while on the throne. We might just auction that off. All right. Here we've got a little Raiders lunch bag, a little cooler bag. Yeah, that's cool. Get it? Cool. Cooler bag. Raiders canister. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is fun. Some kind of... Oh, this is a wristband. It says club. So this is when you go to the club section at the stadium. That's how they know that you belong in that section. They give you a wristband. So you can go into the restaurants and bars and stuff uh, for club members. And there's a little sombrero. Okay, a little micro football. Big five. Funny. This guy bought anything with the Raiders on it, he bought it. Like this. Look at that. Maybe I'll hang that in my truck. What do you think? A little dice? <laughs> with the Raiders. Yeah, it's hilarious. It's so fun, though. Okay, that's a bottle cooler. We had one of these. I think we auctioned it off last night in a big lot of Raider stuff. All right, here's a little bit of cards. Joe Nash. A little bit of football cards. Another NFL licensed merchandise with the hologram sticker there. Oh, this is good. This is good right here. Look at this. To Ramon, Cedric Hardman, number 86, 80 to 81. It says Raiders, number 27, Eagles, number 10. So this guy, um, oh, this is another Riddle mini helmet. We auctioned one off last night in a, a nicer display than this. This is the packaging it comes in. But so interesting. This guy's had a lot of autographed, personalized stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's just neat. He collected for decades. He went to a lot of events and got a lot of stuff from players, like autographs and photographs. And it's just really neat. What do we got here? Okay, towels. I thought it was some stinky socks. This dryer's ice cream with the Raiders. He actually took the time to clean that out pretty meticulously. don't think there's a lot of value in that. Uh, but this is cool. I got a couple of Raiders towels. See that? Raiders. Good. And another ice cream container. Hilarious. A little keychain. Oh, is this like that other football account? Touchdown, Raiders! Now we got another one. Awesome. Just win, baby! This is hilarious. Donut bag. Chocolate black hole donuts. <laughs> so, so funny. Guy kept everything. Ooh, this is kind of good. <clears throat> Look at that. Silver bullet with the Raiders on it. Yeah. Huh. I wonder if that's still good. What's the date on that? We might have to have a little locker food challenge. That's some shelter in place medicine right there. November 10th of 07. Mm, probably not going to chance that one. Okay. Ooh, this is good. Another die cast. I love finding these die casts. And they do well in our auctions too, so I take it you guys love the die cast too. This is a motor coach. Raiders motor coach. Each one numbered to 1,000. Okay. I don't, 
I don't think we need to know what the exact number is. It's in there somewhere, but that's cool. Ah, okay, look at that. Raiders mug, beer mug. It's cool. Ten team NFL. Oh, I see another die cast down here. Let me get to it. Let me get some of this stuff out the way. Raiders. Huh, I don't know what that was. What was that? Body care gift pack. So probably like shampoos and stuff. It's funny. He saved the box. It's so funny. The guy was a true fan. Fan as in fanatic. Oh. Okay. Hey, this is not Raiders. It's another die cast though. Dinty Moore. Dinty Moore. Little truck. A fingerprint on it. What's that about? Hmm. Thanks, honey. Oh, look at that. Jana brought me breakfast. All right, time to take a break. <laughs> All right, just had a nice little breakfast. Thanks to Jana. Some pancake action. Keep me fueled and ready for this unboxing. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this is funny, right? Come on, this is so funny. Made by Betty. Check that out. It is an Oakland Raider pirate ship. Ooh, another one. Silver bullet. 2012, let me think. Okay, look at that little dust here. This thing's been sitting somewhere on display for a while, it's dusty. But that is a Goal Line Classics 1944 modified coupe Raiders 97. That's an Ertl, right? Um, we've had a, a few of these just recently, Ertl collectibles, 1997, it's nice. Here's another die cast collectible right here. Helicopter. Oakland Raiders helicopter. Bell Jet Ranger. Uh, NFL branded. It's copyright Bell Helicopter. Oh, FLIR. Made by FLIR. Interesting. Baseball card company. Wow, got more, guys. This is great. These die cast cars. Fantastic. This one is a semi truck Raiders 2002. Another FLIR. That's cool. This is a good box. Another die cast. Another truck. Look at that brand new. It was 16 bucks. Another 2003. Let's see. Is this Fleer? Yes, it is. Fleer. And that's not all. Another one. <laughs> Another one. Another $16 price tag. Oakland Raiders. Fleer. Pretty cool. All right. Here's a little. I'm not sure what this is about right here. See this? I just figured it out. He's got these right here. These are those cubicles. You can kind of set up shelves. We got the corner pieces right here. These, this was a display, so I think he hung it. He put it on the grates like that and used this to hang. Okay, another NFL cup right here. Okay, last two items in here. Raiders jigsaw puzzle. That's pretty nice. Look at that. It's kind of like a cartoon illustration. This is good for the uh, shelter in place order. A little activity we could do as a family. 513 pieces. That looks like it's going to be a pretty tough puzzle, too. Pretty tough. I might hold on to that a little bit. Maybe we're going to put that together before we sell it. I don't know. Uh, and then the last one right here. Check this out. Team Collectible NFL. Another die-cast piece. This one is a limited edition B2 Stealth Bomber. That's awesome. Another serial numbered NFL piece. Oh, yeah. It's got, like, some kind of a card inside there. Trading card or something. Another FLIR collectible all right that's it there's just the shelf pieces in there we'll bring that to the market and uh yeah that was a good box i love all the die cast all right guys i hope you like that obviously i'm a big raider fan so that's fun going through that stuff's fun even if you're not a big raider fan i think it's still interesting to see the type of collections or the extension of the collection that this guy had because he bought a lot of stuff and it was uh some interesting things, definitely some unique stuff. All right, so this one, this box I also find, I can't say I found it interesting, but I'm interested in it because it says Mar Roberta. This is uh, the wife's box. She passed away eight years before he did, and this box is heavy. So let's take a look, let's see. I'm hoping this has got some interesting stuff in it. She, she also collected some very unique items. We found some miniatures. 
found some uh, little purses and stuff that she had. Perfume bottles, perfumes. Yeah, check that out. It's dopey. It's a plastic. Oh, what is this right here? Walt Disney Pro Productions right here. Right across the back, Walt Disney Productions. On the bottom, though, it says Dopey. And it looks like a number seven, maybe. And this is Made in Japan. So that's kind of interesting. The fact that it's Made in Japan, I think, says that it's a little bit older. I don't think they have made uh, had their items made in Japan for quite some time. Everything's made in China or Taiwan. This could be a vintage piece. And, uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited about that. Let's see what else we find. It's a good start, right? What? do we have this is some old stuff right here someone what is that crocheted it's older it's an old hat berta and what's this <laughs> this is kind of cool oh 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 guys this is good this is good this is part of the reason why this box is so heavy Cause you know what I got right here? I don't know if you can see it through the bag, but oh yeah, forty fives, forty fives. Wow, ton of them, a ton. Okay, move your hand, Lonnie Smith. Let's just get an idea for the bands. Flying high by the Whispers. Oh, we sold the Whispers uh, CD last night. Leon's Creation. I don't know these guys. Motown. Hopefully, never give you up. Jerry Butler. Forever by the Marvelettes. I love you for all seasons. The Fuzz. It's got a chip on this one. It's too bad. Condition is going to be a little issue on these. I mean, look at this. Uh, it's got stickers on it. Roberta. Yeah. Betty Wright. Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. Sweat for you, baby. The Ghetto. Part 2 by Donny Hathaway. Richard Dimpled's Fields. Okay, we got some old stuff here. This is good. That will be making our auctions on Monday. Oh, show. I see more records. Let me get. Let me dig it out, though. All right, what are these things? There's nothing we can't solve together. All of a sudden, I'm excited. I had a feeling this is going to be a good box. I don't know if there's any value to these things. Without you, I'm down in the dumps. And there's the dump. I love you this much. These look old. The felt on here just seems a little bit older. But, okay, wait a second. I should be looking at this. Made in the USA, Barry's Companies, 1970. That's 50 years old right there. Okay. It's a little candle. Probably someone made it themselves, like in the sand. It's nice. Ooh, what's this? Avon, number 12. That's different. Look at that. See the swirls in it? Avon, number 12. Oh, look at that. Bee Gees, 1979 tour. Ooh, that's cool. Wow, 1979, Rolling Stone with the Bee Gees, 1979. All right, maybe we'll put some music stuff in a lot. Let's sell that. Get our auction. Oh, this is heavy. What's in here? Got a lot of paper. Let's see. Ship and Shore News Bulletin. They usually give these to you, I think, when you're on a cruise. Yeah. It's giving you the news. It's basically a newspaper. It's like the top news around the world. They put this on under, I think they slip it under your door in the morning on a cruise line. Pretty interesting. Sailing towards Puerto, Ri Puerto Rico, 1978. Very cool. This is very cool. This whole bag, I think, is a cruise memorabilia. They kept like everything. They really did. Yep. Oh, there's something else in here. Wow, that is a glass framed, like metallic print of the boat. Royal Caribbean Cruise Line Song of Norway from 1978. How about that? Why does it look like there's something behind there? Do you guys see that? It looks like there's something behind there. Okay, we're gonna, we definitely gotta look at that. We could definitely gotta look at that. There is stuff behind here, guys. I know there's always talk of like, oh, there's you gotta check behind them for the cash. They hide cash and pictures and stuff. But this just appears to be a bunch of lined paper. <laughs> great if there's like a treasure map or a diary or something that's like scandalous. 
That'd be fun to uh, read, but no, no, no. Just some paper. Okay, Aloha Hawaii. They kept these bags and kept all their travel memories inside. That's what it is. Huh, it's funny. Look at that. VIP travel service, 1973. Oh, plane tickets, 221. 442 for two people. Don Ho show. How cool is that? I saw Don Ho when I was a little kid. He called uh, some kids up to the stage. I actually got to go up on stage. I don't know how old that was. Eight or ten or something. It's neat. If you don't know who Don Ho is, have you ever heard of that song, Tiny Bubbles? Tiny Bubbles in the Wine. That's Don Ho. This is what I'm after right here. Check this out. We got more records. This is great. Temptations. Oh, these are a little better condition. Carly Simon. They might just be newer. Bread. Barbara Lewis. Now this one's older. The Marvelettes. Okay. All right. Okay. That's half of them. We got the other half right here. Isley, Isley Brothers. The Miracles. Parties, party songs for the grown-ups. Billy Mitchell. Think by James Brown. Ooh, James Brown. The Spinners. Peaches and Herb. Dang, you guys got a lot of records here. Look at this. More records. <laughs> and we got a couple with sleeves. Baja Marimba Band. Along Comes Mary. Herb Alpert and the Tijuana Brass. Flamingo. I'd like to listen to that. Chris Montez. Actually, I think I will listen to that. I'll put it on the record player. Can't Seem to Make You Mine. By The Seeds. Voices from the Sky by Fuzzface. The Olympics. Old stuff here. Motown. The way you do the things you do. This is good stuff. Righteous Brothers. The Jackson 5. I want you back. Promise me you, my Smokey Robinson. This is great. Oh, this matches that Avon piece. Yeah, check that out. That's nice. Avon, number 16 on that. This one was number 12. Look at that. Found the cap for that. <laughs> nice. So it looks like we got a whole bunch of cards here. And you guys, I, I mean, here's the thing. I know I have found money in cards. You've seen it, right? If you watched some of my earlier videos, I found actually a pretty decent amount of money in cards on, on a few occasions. I don't think this is going to be one of those occasions. I'm just going to open one just to take a look at it, but I love you, it says. I'm just telling you guys I've done this for a while. Now you're going to say, oh, you can't throw away all this money. I don't think so. This stuff's been in here for a very long time. These are not the type of people, they're very organized. I mean, you saw that, right? They're very extremely organized. They're not the type to leave money in cards. When I did find money in cards, there seemed to be people who are very unorganized. And the most money I ever found had a really good run. And it was a lady who had gotten married and then had a baby shower uh, very close after that. And the money was in the cards in the big party bag. Like she had had the party, put the money back in the cards, put the cards in a bag. That bag went in a box and it went in storage. And then she forgot about it, apparently. That's when I scored big. Um... She was obviously disorganized because I think she had a lot of big life events very close together. And uh, that was a good run. That was a good run. These guys, not like that. These people didn't have kids. They don't have that craziness, hectic, hectic life that you have when you have kids. Um, and they were very organized. this what's this it's open right here um okay let's get a closer look at that okay cardboard <clears throat> it does sound actually it sounds really good actually um okay guys so this let's open this i think we're gonna wrap it after that okay 
I know that's only two box, but I got to get in there to uh, ship all the stuff from the auction last night. So let's open this and then let's wrap up. I got to get uh, to my other work. And I know you guys are dying for an unboxing. So let's see what's in here. Wait a sec. Wait a second. Okay, this looks pretty good. This is a jewelry box. Obviously, right? Obviously. But... Okay, okay, got some potential. Don't see any. Okay, let me stop touching. Uh, um, hmm. Feels empty. Okay, let me let me get let me stop right there. Let me get uh, a couple tools, and I'll be right back. All right, this is gonna take a little bit longer than I thought. Just a sec. All right, guys, I need to get a few things. So right here, I've got a diamond tester, just in case. I just grabbed it. Uh, I got a magnet. Okay, that's the best thing that we can use right now is a magnet. That'll automatically um, rule out some of the pieces as being precious metals. It doesn't confirm it's precious metal, but it's at least something. And then check this out. I've got this. Uh, I, I couldn't find my loop. I lost my loop. I had this garbage one sitting on there. So I bought this off Amazon. This one's brand new. I bought two. So I've been using the other one. It's in the other room. So I thought that just to uh, share with you guys this nice little loop, jewelry loop, uh, I'll show you what I bought. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So it's a little bit bigger, fatter, bigger eye hole than uh, some of the ones that you find. And it's kind of cool. It's got this light. You turn on, it's got a blue light for just a little bit of illumination. Then it's got this double white LED that casts a lot of a lot more light on a piece to help identify you know if it's uh if it's gold or not so yeah nice piece believe it or not I think this is like eight bucks or ten bucks or something it's very inexpensive I actually bought two because it was so cheap and uh you know what guys I'm gonna put the link below in the description if you uh need a loop this is uh it's not like a high, high quality one, but it definitely serves the purpose. You can definitely see very well with it. And uh, the light mechanism here is kind of cool. Definitely, I've been using it and appreciating it. That might be a little bit too much. See, I was washing everything out. But the blue is nice and mellow yellow. All right, let's get to it. Yeah, link below on this uh, to the Amazon product that I purchased. If you guys are curious of getting one on your own. Okay, let's get a little closer. Ooh, this is fun. I It's been a while since I had a, a jewelry box. It's been a while. Okay, hang on a second. Let me, let me adjust my camera. Okay, I just needed to take the cover off my phone because it was getting in my way. I'm working in a little bit close quarters here. I want to get you guys a... A good angle of this to sue. Man, that'd be nice if that was gold. Let's do it. Huh. Nope. See how it's it? kissing it right there? If it draws it in at all. Not gold. But nice piece. Nice piece. What does that say? Celebrity New York. That's what it says. Celebrity New York. Okay, so is that a costume piece? Um, maybe, perhaps, hopefully, Celebrity is a good brand. Still might have some value there. Cool. It's pretty. Nice. We're going to have some jewelry for our, our auction coming up. <laughs> okay. That's kind of tangled, probably, because I was shaking the box. Probably that's what happened. Nope. It's gonna be a no. Same as the same as the earring. Even if we're not finding solid gold pieces, that doesn't mean this is a bad find. Costume still sells. Still wearable pieces. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Definitely nope. Oh, that's pretty. Now look at that. Wow, that's really nice.
Okay, so here's a little thimble. That's nothing. That's kind of cool. It's got our name on the back. I'm not sure what's up with these safety pins. What is in there? That's like a little roach in there, huh? Not a roach, a bug, but a roach like a butt of a, you know what? Okay, that's kind of strange. This is a, I think this is like copper and brass intertwined. Pretty nice. No sticking to the magnet. Huh. There we go. That's a sharp picture right there. Bristol 14K. This is 14K white gold right here, you guys. That's what it appears to be. Bristol, I'm not sure. Is it the maker? But that's a nice little piece, isn't it? Woohoo. Good find. Good, 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 good. Is that the first gold we found in this entire locker? Oh, man, it might be. Good, 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 good. Spain right there. This piece is marked Spain. Huh, that's cool, huh? Well, little, little earring. Is that what it is? Doesn't look very comfortable. Amorphia? It's a pin. It's been bent over. Oh boy. <laughs> little earring here. Uh, it's not sticking though. Okay, now hang on. What is this? Hmm. I don't see any markings on here, but I don't know. That could be gold, too. Let's put it over there. This looks like copper. All right, now this. This looks like sterling. Sterling right here. Yeah, that's sterling. Cool. That's good. Got some silver and got some gold. Already. It's just a little costume piece. It's nice. Alright. This is all kind of tangled up right here. Give me a second. Just give me a second. I'll untangle that. And it looks like we just... Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Oh, there's a little pin. Snoopy. Red Baron. Little pin, that's cool. It says United Features right there. United Features. It's kind of hard to make out, but that's what it says. Snoopy. Little pin. Swank, it says. Cufflink. That's pretty cool. Okay, this isn't sticking here. Some kind of little camel here, but I think it could potentially be silver. Let's see. 925. It's a pin. Oh, what's this? Look at that. Twelve K Goldfield GF Goldfield. Wait, it's pretty, isn't it? Unfortunately, the chain is broke on this end, but it doesn't matter too much. Just the pendant needs a new chain. The chain on this is also marked twelve K GF. All right, this is nice. Look at that it's a necklace. Probably silver. Let's check it out. Definitely looks like silver. It's got these little, little stones on here. That's neat. All right. There's a pattern on there, but it's not writing. So there's another little pin. 1976. Couple flags. That's neat.
Yeah, this is cool. Huh? Hmm. I don't see marking on here for silver. Certainly looks like it could be the way it's tarnishing. The patina on it. Nope. Okay. So I'm gonna definitely make a make a little spot in here for questionable silver. Maybe we can test that later. Okay, here's another necklace. Some nice beads. I had doubt this is uh, gold. Nope. <laughs> nice little costume piece again. This is fun, guys. Like I said, I haven't found... Uh, I had not found a jewelry box in a while. And I uh, forgot how fun it was, actually. I am really enjoying this. I don't see any markings on that. Oh, I should have checked the magnet first. Dang it. It had a, this had a feel to it. I, I thought it felt a little better. But it's not precious. It's just regular costume. Okay. All right, that's what clears the top tray. Let's see what's in here. Okay. What's this? Knott's Adventure Club. Look at this. Safely Employees Association. 1977, 1978. That's old. Disney. Uh, application for membership. This is old Disneyland stuff. Cool. A bunch of old. Old stuff. 78. Nice bracelet right here. This is uh, it's sticking to the magnet, so not. I didn't think that was silver, anyways. But um, nice little costume piece. Okay, here's a bracelet. This is Ramon, so that's a men's bracelet. Ooh. This is Tiger. Some keys. All right. <laughs> Got a few keys. Put those aside. Got the old lock right here. Made in the USA. Slay maker. Okay. This feels like aluminum or something. Well, this is heavy. Heavy. Look at the inside. It's a plastic lined little coin purse. It's just deteriorating. I know what these are. These I think are for belly dancing. All right, you get the idea. This is pretty cool. I think these are brass and uh, there's two sets. Eesh, let's get it out of that plastic. The plastic's falling apart. Some vintage belly dancing uh, finger symbols. I think that's what's called fingers, finger symbols. All right, here's an old keychain. Huh. Leather keychain with hearts on it. It's vintage. Good luck. Old leather bracelet right here with an R on it. It's cool. All right, here's some old keys. That's going to go into my key box. I got a key collection. Carnation floral scent. Huh. Some essential oils, I think. Carnation. Let's see. Let's just see. Let's see if it's still good. Ooh, that's nice, actually. Definitely still good. Nice. <laughs> this is fun, isn't it? I'm having fun. I hope you guys are having fun. <clears throat> Look at this old patch. Tweety. Tweety bird. God's only law is love. Nice. Ay -ay 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 -ay. Okay, what's this? There's Jesus. Oh, 
Wait, these look silver. Let's see. Nope, not that one. For sure not that one. <laughs> this one could be. Oh, get off it. Alright, this one definitely looks to be silver. Let's see if it's got any markings. Sterling. Yup, yup. That one's sterling. Not the chain, though. Okay. Ooh, this could be gold. It's not much gold, but it could be a little bit of gold right here. Mm -mm. Okay, so that's... I don't see any markings on it, but that could definitely be gold. Okay, there's a little tie clip. Are these often gold? I don't think so. Roberta. Bracelet. Okay. It's empty. A little jewelry box, it's empty. Right, this stuff's not looking so good in here. I mean, as far as like precious metal type stuff goes, that's kind of pretty though. Look at that. A wind chime or something. Some wood beads. Nice necklace here. Vintage, it's good. Another necklace, right? Or bracelet? I don't know. Okay, what's this? It's got a little shell on it. This is kind of nice. This could be silver right here. No, no markings on this either. Um, very similar to the other one. It looks like it has a patina on it consistent with silver. But I will have to put this aside with the other one. And figure out how to test that. I don't, I'm not really used to testing silver. Gold I've done before, but silver no. So we'll have to learn a little bit about that. This says Japan on it. See that right there? It says Japan. And it looks like brass. It's a crab. Feeling crabby. Okay, and here's a little necklace. Cool. It's all vintage stuff. Whoa. This is heavy. This is copper and brass again. Uh, remember, if you remember some of the earlier jewelry, jewelry we found, we found a lot of copper and brass. And here's another piece right here. This thing, that thing weighs pretty good. The copper's got a patina, so if you see this right here, it's, that's the copper turning color. This needs to be polished up. I think we can do that. And uh, that's a nice piece, nice little bracelet. Okay, what do we got here? Broken. But... Come on, baby. Is this gold? Mm-mm. Monet. See that? Monet. That's costume jewelry. And it's broken. So that's not too good. And these are in. Right here. These are in. These uh, shell necklaces and bracelets. Kids like them right now. And what kind of shells are those? It's very heavy. And I like how they're all kind of like domed. It's like a... They're curved. See that? All together, that's that's a nice one. This feels vintage too. That's <laughs> sweet. Very nice piece. Uh, this is nothing. I don't think that's anything. Hmm. Okay, a little shell necklace. It's nice. Another tie clip right here. It is sticking a little bit. All right, let's get to these. Empty. Feels empty. Yep. Oh my goodness, do you see what I just did? <laughs> I tried to pull it out, but it's it's just deteriorating. Look at that. This stuff's been in here a very long time. It's glued down. Sometimes you got to look underneath just to see if anything is falling behind it. Um, not in this case. Mm. It says Avon on it. Feels empty. Empty. This is old. 
Okay, guys, we're just about to the end of it here. So, another box empty. Oh, there's the lid for the jewelry box. So it looks like we're missing the little, there's a little metal rod there that works as the hinge. They lost that, but it's kind of nice. Andy. All right, guys, that's it. A straight pin. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, well, that's, hey, that was fun. Found some all right stuff. I mean, look, this is the best stuff we found. We found a 14K gold ring, what appears to be a white gold 14K. A couple little pieces here that are questionable. They might be gold. We found a few silver pieces here. A um, couple old pins. And then some pieces over here that I put aside. The swank uh, cuff links. And then these potentially silver necklaces. And this is a nice piece, although it's not precious. It is copper and brass. It's a nice piece. And a bunch of other stuff. And then all this stuff here, which will display and sell us a lot uh, at our next auction. A bunch of costume stuff. This is a good find. I'm loving it. All right, guys, that was going to do it. You know what? It's so funny. I had a feeling about that box. I, I just had a feeling about it. And uh, it said Roberta on the side. I know the wife passed. I wasn't really thinking jewelry. And, of course, this was on the bottom of the box. Even when I pulled the case out, I was thinking, oh, this is going to be more that gold-plated uh, silverware because we, we found uh, two boxes of it and it looks kind of like that it's about the same size but nope jewelry uh good stuff really really good find not a whole bunch of precious not a whole bunch of value this uh i do hope that gold ring does uh turn out to be legit because that's that's a nice that's a nice piece um you know what let's weigh that i didn't do that yet did i let's wait hang on a sec 6.2 6.2 that's pretty good i think uh 14k is going for around 20 26 or 28 bucks right now so that's somewhere between i don't know about 175 bucks and that's not bad not bad for one little ring beautiful beautiful all right so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed that i was really thinking we're just gonna have two quick two quick boxes the raider stuff's a lot of fun Found that great die-cast stuff and just lots of random, uh, unique items in there. And then we found some, some vintage here with the vintage Disney figure and the records being my highlight until, of course, we found the jewelry box. Then this video took a completely different turn. And, uh, man, I just love that. I love that. That's why, that's why I love this job because you just never know what you're going to find in a box. Every one of them is an adventure. Sometimes not so exciting, but... Uh, sometimes extremely exciting. I love that. I love that. So I hope you guys liked it too. Hit me the thumbs up if you would. If you like any of these pieces, you're going to see a lot of them in our next auction. We do the live auctions every Monday at 6 p.m. Uh, but sometimes we launch them midweek as well. If, you, uh, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and make sure you hit that bell notification. If you're not getting notifications from us, unclick the bell and re-click it again. And uh, that's kind of a known bug in YouTube and that's the fix. So then you'll get notifications. So if we launch another live or an auction or put out a video, you'll get an update so you know uh, what we're up to. All right, thanks you guys for watching. Um, we will keep unboxing and keep sharing those adventures with you. Uh, trying to do it every day. It's hard to keep up with schedule just because we got auctions and shipping and eBay and all kinds of other stuff going on too. But I'll have the next video out very, very soon. All right, until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Lockin' Nuts.